Hi everyone. Sorry I've been away from, for a while, but I'm back now. So if you want a private reading, just send me an email. As always, my email is below in the description box right below this video. Um, so let's get into it. So just whatever the cards want to say. It, oftentimes it's about love, but sometimes career or financial messages come up as well. So let's see what's going on with my Leo viewers. End of a pattern or cycle. Breakthrough. Freedom. So I'm seeing some kind of major turn of events coming in for you here. You're either in the midst of it or it's coming in in the near future. Because right after that, so it's like you're you're ending some kind of cycle. Now this could be like a toxic cycle going for emotionally or abusive people. This could be cutting out toxic friends. Um, it looks like for this energy group, it looks like this retrograde period has really affected you. I mean, more than most, it seems like you really like maybe you lost some friendships or just something some it looks like some hidden truths are coming to light. Things that you didn't really expect to come to light are becoming conscious now. You know, you might have some surprises that have just come in or are, you know, you're currently going through this and be coming in in the near future. But I'm getting a major blessing in disguise energy here, though. So you might find out that someone you're friends with is toxic or you might find out, you know, something that you just didn't want to know about somebody. But it's honestly a blessing in disguise. It's as painful as it might be. It's the universe giving you what you're asking for. You know, when you ask for, for new love or a new career, new energy, you know, what has to happen to the old energy in your life? You know, it has to go somewhere like some, you know, it, you have to remove these things in order to invite the new in a lot of the time. You know what I mean? Like if you have a toxic job and you're asking, you know, you're asking the universe for more money, you're asking for more financial stability, you know, you might get into an argument with your boss or a coworker. You might have some drama come up. Um, you might not get the promotion you want, but it's, it's a blessing in disguise because it's pushing you out of that stagnant job and into a job that's really suited for you. Does that make sense? Same with love. If you're in a toxic connection or if you're hanging on to someone that's toxic and you're praying and praying and praying for, you know, true love and someone that appreciates you, it might not be the person you thought it was going to be. Um, so, you know, you could have breakups, you could have friendships ending, you know, all, you know, all this, this drama but it really is a beautiful thing in the end. There's a reason for it. It's clearing out the old stagnant energy. It's clearing out the things that are not meant for you, the things that are not serving you, the things aren't, that aren't truly making you happy if you're honest with yourself about it. So I see a lot of epiphanies that are, you know, either just come in or are coming in for, for this group. You know, because we have end of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. It's like you're ending, like I said, this could be old friendships, old jobs. It could be, a, you know, a number of things. It could be a, a whole new perspective that you're coming into that's, you know, triggering you to make these life changes. It's like you're ascending, you're going to the next level. And so now you have this different perspective that you're starting to come into. And when you have this different perspective, it's like, it's like now you're looking at the old, you know, the old friendships and old, you know, stagnant jobs, old stagnant relationships, and you're not resonating with that energy anymore. Like it's just, it doesn't feel right to you anymore. Um, so it's, so it's ultimately a really good thing is, you know, you're getting on the right path. It might not be what you expected, but it, it's like, you're going towards your destiny. And I see you being stronger than you've been in the past. It's like, you're more courageous, you're more assertive, you're moving forward you know, you're more motivated. It's like, you're just, you're ascending. Basically, you're just ascending and you're not resonating with the, th the things that, you know, resonated with you, with you before. Um, alternatively, I do want to say this could be about your person. So if, if you're watching this, you know, because a lot of times I do love reading. So this could also be what your person is going through. Your person might be in some kind of toxic situation or they might be in an old stagnant job and you're trying to, you know, maybe they have toxic friends that spread rumors about you and you keep trying to get them to see the light. Well, it looks like, you know, they had to learn things on their own the hard way, but it looks like they are coming to these realizations, you know, whether this is you or your person, or this could even be a twin flame connection where you guys are mirroring each other. You know, maybe your person had a lot of toxic energy in their own life and you kept trying to 
you know, push them forward and make them, you know, see the light, I guess you could say. You kept trying to push them forward and, and get them on their path. And now that you've been, you know, focusing on yourself more, you're, you know, you realize that pushing them just didn't work and you're kind of focusing on yourself more. They're, they're feeling that energy and they're doing the same. So it's almost like it's, it's a really beautiful energy because it's like you guys are both ending these toxic cycles and patterns together, but you might not be consciously physically together right now, if that makes sense. It's like you guys are feeling, you're telepathically communicating with each other. You're feeling each other's energy, even though you might not be in a relationship with this person at the moment. I could also, this could also be someone new where it's just like, you guys are just feeling each other's energy. And when you meet this person, you're going to realize that they've gone through a lot of the same things, you know, the same cycles, same patterns that you've been through. And they're going to resonate with you. They're just going to understand you in a way that nobody in your past has. Domination and control. Mutual feelings, emotional depth. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Loyalty, stability, and vows. Manipulation and deception. Hmm. Finances and career. Tell me more about. Tell me more about this manipulation and deception. Fear of commitment. Traps blocked, tied up. New perspective. Okay. Tell me more about domination and control as well. Happiness, warmth, and light. Submissive, weak-willed. Spying. Okay, so I'm getting a few different energies here. Because I think there's, you know, it's, it's the same energy group, but there's going to be a couple, of, you know, there's different variations of the story. But... I'm really getting, and I want to confirm this. I primarily channel as most of you know, but I want to confirm with my pendulum too. Is this, for most of you, is this about a new person? Yeah, I'm getting a yes to that. For most of you, this is about a new person. Because I feel like for some of you, it is an ex coming back around. But more than, for most of you, I'm feeling like you actually want to let the ex go. Like I'm feeling, like this could be someone, don't get me wrong. This this could be someone from, um... This could be someone from like your recent past or maybe someone that you knew years ago um, and you guys only hung out a few times and like it never really went anywhere and now this is coming back around. It could be a situation like that, but I feel like like most of your exes and like just the patterns that you were in with toxic people, toxic, you know, family, communication patterns, um, jobs, whatever it might be. It's like you're ascending, you're leveling up, and so is your person simultaneously. You guys are telepathically communicating and feeling that energy and both letting go of these old situations at the same time. So you guys are really helping each other heal, even if you're not physically together. It's a really beautiful energy. But, um, but yeah, I feel like if this is someone from your past, it's not like, I'm not getting the energy of like an ex who screwed you over. It's like, I don't think you would even resonate with that. Like, th how quickly you're ascending right now. Um, there might have been some drama and some upheavals and some, you know, you might have really intense mixed emotions right now. You know what I mean? Like, you might wake up crying. You might go to sleep crying. But ultimately, it's like you're ascending. It's like you're purging. You're, I feel like you've been numb and stagnant possibly for a while. And it, now it's like you're you know, all these emotions are coming up and it's a really beautiful thing to just let yourself cry and let yourself just feel whatever you feel. Um, you know, I, I never, I will never understand healers who try to tell people to just think positive and, you know, just, just positive thinking, positive results. I personally do not believe in that. I think that you need to allow yourself to feel what you feel. If you try suppressing anger if you try suppressing you know so-called negative emotions they're just going to come out later in uglier ways so it's really important to let yourself feel 
let yourself purge, let yourself cry, let yourself just be your true self. Just be in that raw, vulnerable, emotional energy. Just feel what you truly feel. And when you allow yourself to feel and to just be who you really are, I feel like things just flow so much more naturally, you know, otherwise things become, things get out of balance. You have to have both the light and the darkness. You have to have the good and bad emotions. You have to have that balance. You have to, you know, you really have to have that balance and just let things flow naturally. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling new love for most of you. I'm feeling like this is either a brand new person that you haven't met or this, this could also be, like I said, someone that you, that you knew before, but it just, maybe they were with someone in the past or you were with someone or it just, for some reason, it just never really took off the ground. And now that's coming back around. And I'm just, I'm guided to say it's not an ex, but just because I don't think you want your exes. I think with the emotions you're feeling and, and the purging and the, the, the ascension, and all of it, I just feel like you're not really resonating with your exes the way that you used to. So I don't think you would even want them back. Um, so yeah, and I'm, I'm feeling, okay, so this was how we'd clarify domination and control. So I'm feeling like with this person, this could be a secret admirer type. I'm really feeling like with this person, like I said, either a new person or someone that you knew in the past, but it just never really took off for some reason. But I feel like like you're going to be tempted to play games or they're going to be tempted to play games. Like maybe some of you guys have control issues. Like, you know, you, you end up being the dominant one in your connections. And I feel like in this connection, God, it reminds me of this article that I read a while back. It was, it's probably like an elephant journal article or something. I, God, it was ridiculous. But I think it was about, I think the quote was, you don't need a man, you need a warrior. And in the article, it was talking about just the energetic difference between, you know, a man that's a man or a woman that's, you know, insecure and afraid of love and not in their power and someone that, you know, is secure and is open to love and is brave enough to have the kind of relationship that you're seeking. And it was in the article, it was talking about how, you know, you can't play games with somebody like that. It just doesn't work. They'll see right through it. So I almost feel like when this new person comes in, there might be that temptation where you might have a certain communication pattern or something that you're used to using with these other people and it's not going to work on this person, you know, or vice versa. Like I said, this could be the new person that you're, you're going to be like, unlike anything they've ever known. So they're going to try the, and then they're not toxic. It's not like, I don't get a toxic, dark inner, you know, I don't get like a negative energy from this or anything. I get more the energy of someone that's been hurt a lot. So they, they're defensive. You know what I mean? This could be someone that thinks, oh, you have to you know, oh, you can't call back right after they give you their phone number. You got to wait a few days or you got to leave them on red for for four hours at least or just just stupid little things like that or just just little little mind games. But it's it's not I mean, I wouldn't say it's healthy, but I mean, it's it, it, it does come from a place of, you know, it's just what this person's used to, whether that's you or, or this person. But they're going to learn very quickly, whether it's you or them, that, you know, someone's going to learn very quickly that that doesn't work in this connection. You know, they're going to try to dominate this. They're going to try to predict this. And it's just, I think that's what you guys have to understand, too, is some of you are probably trying to predict and control this. Like, oh, is it going to happen then? Is it how, you know, how, what, where, when, who, whatever. Um, and I just feel like it's it's going to be out of your control. And this is part of ascending, is that you're being, you know, driven to let go of control issues driven to step out of your comfort zone. And so is this person. And so this isn't going to be a predictable relationship. Like this is probably going to come in when you least expect it. This is probably not going to be anything that you're used to. Um, but it really, it, it, it's a really beautiful energy. It really is. It just feels, yeah, it feels like you're going to try to control it or they're going to try to control it or both of you guys are, both of you guys are. And it's just, it's not going to work. You know, you guys might even spy on each other. You might try to, you know, you might try to even look for the bad in them. And it's just, you're, there might be like a pessimist, pessimism there because it's like, like almost like this too good to be true energy from either you or them. And very quickly, I feel like you guys are going to give into this, this happiness, warmth, light, passion, love. It's like, 
this person, look, they're just mesmerized by each other. And this makes someone submissive and weak-willed. Like, this person gives in. This person is giving into the passion, into the love, into the the chemistry, the connection. This is just, this is like life partner energy, like soulmate or twin flame energy, like past life, someone you've known in your past lives, like love at first sight kind of energy. So it's not, you know, whatever communication patterns you've had in the past with other people, I feel like, I just feel like it's going to be different here. You guys are going to be, it's this whole new perspective for both of you. It's a really beautiful energy. But I yeah, I feel like there's a lot of mutual feelings here. So we have mutual feelings, emotional depth. We have adventure, honeymoon, vacation, loyalty, stability, vows. I feel like... I almost feel like either... This person has been cheated on a lot. So when they meet you and you're super loyal, they're not going to trust it at first or vice versa. Because, um, I mean, this could be a person for like a third party, you know, causing deception and manipulation for some of you. This could even, I could even see this as like a toxic boss or like a coworker or someone. For, someone might have like a coworker that has a crush on them that doesn't want them, want them with anyone else or like a controlling boss or something. That might be like a specific message for someone. But for the most part, I feel like this, you know, it could be another person. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is either you or your, or your new person's, you know, own fears. Like, this person's really this loyal. I don't have to wear a mask. Like, it's really this simple, you know, because I feel like there's like that fear of getting hurt and they've trapped themselves. But it really feels like they're going to set themselves free. They're going to have, they're going to listen and understand. They're going to have this new perspective. You know, it says true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open mindedness, your faith and your bravery. So as you heal, you're healing this person too. Um, I do want to say though, that the right person for you will not sabotage things. Like it's normal to be scared. It's normal to be scared in relationships. Like pretty much everyone has had their heart broken been cheated on, been rejected, been through this, been through that. But I really truly believe that the people that genuinely love you just for who you are, not just, you know, not just the idea of you, but someone who genuinely loves you for who you are, in my opinion, is going to take that chance for you, you know, even if they're scared. You know, it's, it's totally normal to be scared, but someone shouldn't be Someone that loves you isn't going to put themselves in a position to lose you. They're not going to reject you and hurt you and play games with you. You know, that's not the right person for you. If someone's, you know, that's a coward, honestly, in my opinion. I, I wouldn't want that energy in my life. I don't know about you guys. But but this doesn't feel like that. It feels like, it feels more like someone who's scared and they're not used to this. But I still feel like they're going to come into this new perspective anyway. They're going to see that you're worth it. So they, they might be a little just unsure of you. Like there might be like some, I don't want to say like communication issues, but it's just, it, you're just very different than what you're, what they're used to and vice versa. So there's going to be kind of like a trial and error period, but I think, and I really feel like they're going to be consistent with you though. They're still going to be around even if they're scared. And that's how you're going to know that energetic difference between them and maybe people people from your past is that they didn't just this person doesn't just run they don't just sabotage things because they're scared they're this is a warrior this is someone that's strong enough to work through these fears you know and you're gonna know that you're worth it to them and you're gonna no matter how scared they are you're gonna know that they're working through those fears they're gonna make sure that you know that but i just feel like i mean i don't I don't sense any major blocks, though, honestly. I feel like it's it's going to, like I said, you guys are just, you guys both have this this old pattern that you're, I think you're just now finally breaking through that. I mean, you might have been working on it for years, but I feel like you're finally reaching that, like, major breakthrough point where it's like you're going to date someone that you, you would not have given the time of day to five, ten years ago is kind of the energy that I'm getting here. But, um, 
So I think it's it's almost like a good energy. It's like a fear, but it's almost like a nervousness. It's like, wow, like we're attracted to each other. Like it's that easy. It's almost like you're like you guys are just loyal to each other. And it's almost like you guys are going to be kind of, I guess, caught off guard. You're like, how is it this easy? How is it this? You know, is, is this for real? Like there's going to be that fear. But I, like I said, I feel like you guys are both going to be working through that together. And you're just going to have to. You know, this is what you've been asking for. And I feel like some of you have been asking for it, but like not leaving the house or not going out. And then like when you actually find it, you're gonna be like, oh shit, like it's really happening for me now. You know, it's going to be almost like this kind of like a shock for um, for both you and this person. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's it really is a good energy. So it's almost like this like excitement and this nervousness that I feel like this shock that it's just like real, like it's finally in front of your face and it's, it's just different. Like you're almost going to be questioning yourself. Like I wouldn't have even noticed this person five years ago. You know, it's like, you're almost just like, you're just not going to be used to each other, but I feel like you're going to, you're going to adapt. And this is, you know, this is, you, you're starting a whole new cycle. It's a new pattern. So, so yeah, of course it's not, your spirit guides couldn't bring you someone like, you know, your exes, someone from your past. No. So of course it's going to be different. Um, and like I said, you know, you're going to have to realize that some of the things that worked in those old relationships are not going to work in this relationship. You know what I mean? Like if you had drama with your exes, like petty back and forth arguments or whatever, just about little things, it's not going to work with this person. I mean, I don't think they're, they're going to, like, abandon you or anything. I'm not saying that, but I just feel like it's just they're they're going to communicate differently. Their perspective is going to be different. It's just not, you know what I mean? It's just it's you're going to have to, you guys are both going to be learning new ways of being and thinking and feeling, but it's actually a really beautiful thing because you're both ascending. So it's it's like you're both almost becoming new people. Yeah, see, like I said, this is a good, this is going to be the energetic difference, too, that you're going to notice with this person. Because like I said, this person's been betrayed. They've been heartbroken. They've been through a lot. But they're going to see that they're worth it. Bold gesture, choosing love over fear, risk, reward. They're going to realize that, you know, you're the entire package. And so that's the difference between, you know, someone. It's not about not being afraid, like I said. It's, it's about pushing through their fear and choosing love over fear, no matter how scared they are. So you're going to, you're going to see that energetic difference in this person. It's a really beautiful thing. But anyway, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is below in the description box right below this video. Um, any donations are really deeply appreciated. My donation link is also below in the description box. Um, and yeah, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for watching.